Hi, everyone. I hope you're having a great Thursday. I'm KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff. It's almost finally Friday. Before I start talking about the weather over the next three days, I'd like to congratulate the Razorbacks on an awesome victory against Kentucky in overtime. Enough of the sports. Let's talk weather. We're going to get basically all four seasons in a matter of three days across northwest Arkansas. It is going to be one wild ride. Now obviously the forecast is still two, three days out. A lot can change. Precipitation amounts and location and timing and all this stuff can change. But I'm going to take you inside my mind as to what I'm thinking, what I have experienced with past storms, and what concerns me about uh, this storm, and also some of the things that will lead to less ice accumulation across northwest Arkansas. So this is going to be a detailed weather update here uh, to get you started off either late tonight or early your Friday morning. Satellite and radar showing we have a weather system that's going to be moving in. And if you catch this in the morning, some of this precipitation that comes down from the system could fall in the form of light freezing drizzle and light freezing rain. Now that's not going to last as temperatures quickly warm up. I'm going to focus my attention onto a system that's off to the west of us and west of uh, the west coast of the United States, so west of San Francisco. But the low pressure system that's moving in for Friday going to bring some wind, also a little bit of a light drizzle, light freezing rain that happens on our early Friday morning, a few hours before sunrise, lasting until about maybe an hour after sunrise. That is very questionable though. What isn't questionable is that this system is massive. That's approaching the west coast of the United States. Look at the swirl and spin. It almost looks like a, a hurricane. It's what we would call a comma cloud. And this is an intense system. Very large low pressure. And it's moving towards uh, the west coast. And will be moving into northwest Arkansas and the river valley. And affecting a good portion of the southern plains and mid-south with winter weather. So first of all, let me tell you about how Arctic air masses behave with the Ozark Mountains. If you haven't seen this before, we have a very strong Arctic cold front. And you will not believe the temperature drop. In fact, we're going to fall from the 60s early Sunday morning, depending on the timing and speed of this front, to in the mid and lower 20s by Sunday evening. And across this front, you could have a 30, 40 degree temperature range only over the matter of uh, maybe 10, 20, 30 miles. This is going to be a, a front to behold. So this cold front is very shallow, meaning it's very low to the ground. And as that cold air approaches the Ozark Mountains and the terrain of the Ozarks, it gets blocked because it can't go through the terrain. It has to seep around in the little river valleys and river beds. And so as it comes into northwest Arkansas, you can see the way the terrain is affecting uh, northwest Arkansas and the river valley in that shallow cold air. So uh, notice how it kind of skirts around the area. Now that's not going to be the case for the entire time. but. One of the things with this winter storm and with the ice forecast is what I've experienced since I've been here for over seven years is that if an ice storm is expected when the cold air is arriving, the ice accumulation tends to be a little bit less. Now if the cold air is already in the area for a day or two like we had back in 2009, you could have significant ice accumulation. So that is one thing that may lessen the ice amounts. But the computer models say otherwise. We'll just, of course, refine the forecast over the coming days. So here's what the surface map is going to look like. There is that shallow cold air mass getting stalled out in the Ozarks terrain. But we have those temperatures in the 70s, even 80s south of the front. Not too far north of the front, temperatures will be in the 20s. So here is our weekend winter storm potential. You got to keep in mind the area of ice and sleet and snow will shift north and south as the latest track of this system comes in. But I do believe the timing of all this will start late Sunday morning for northwest Arkansas. Now, of course, that cold air has no problem racing through Oklahoma, Kansas, north central Texas. So that cold air is going to arrive a lot sooner in eastern Oklahoma. Now we do have that potential for ice across northwest Arkansas. The latest kind of showing that maybe that precipitation area will be more in uh, central and eastern Arkansas for the heaviest ice accumulation. That remains to be seen. 
So why are we getting the different precipitation types? I've shown this before, but I wanted to show it again in this detailed webcast extra. Let me set the stage for what's going to happen on Sunday. As this shallow cold air mass comes in from the north, again, we're looking to the west on this graphic, it's very low to the ground, but it's almost like a wedge. So the farther north you get, the deeper the cold air is. As we uh, move in from the south, a warm layer of air that's above freezing, and that will happen. This is a textbook ice storm setup. That gives you your different precipitation types. So for instance, where the clouds are snowing, it all starts off as snow with uh, temperatures very cold and well below freezing above that warm layer of air that's above freezing. So with rainfall, that's the easiest precipitation type. You have frozen precipitation, starts as snow, falls through that warm air, and melts into all liquid rain. So that is where we're going to have uh, South Arkansas, Southwest Arkansas. They are going to see that warm air and no cold air because it slows down with the Ozarks. Eventually it'll move in, but uh, I don't believe winter weather is going to be a major factor for South and Southwestern Arkansas and Southeast Oklahoma. However, as we move into the freezing rain potential, that shallow wedge of cold air is very uh, not very deep. So what happens is you have the frozen precipitation that falls through the warm air. That means it's going to melt from snow into rain. However, because the temperatures are chilled at the surface, any elevated surfaces that that rain hits will freeze on contact, and that's what gives you your layer of ice. So if you were to go up in a hot air balloon above 1,400 feet, you would be well above freezing. What we are hoping for in northwest Arkansas is that maybe this cold air will come in a little deeper than expected and if that is the case we will have more sleet. Now sleet does not accumulate on power lines, it also doesn't accumulate on tree branches, but it does make a little bit of a mess of the road. So either way we are going to have an impact on this event, but what sleet is it's frozen precipitation that falls through that warm layer of air that you see that's orange colored. It will melt into rain and then it continues to fall into a cold layer that's near the surface but instead of freezing rain that cold layer of air is a little bit deeper so that gives enough time for that raindrop to totally refreeze into a solid ball of ice. And then snow of course which is what's going to happen by the end of this system and that's going to be Sunday night into Monday when that cold air is deep enough and gets deeper on the back side of that low pressure system that it will fall as snow and remain as all snow. So those are your different precipitation types. That's why we see all the different precipitation types because you get that warm layer of air that surges in from the south because you have the Gulf of Mexico very close by and that's why we're going to see the potential for the ice storm setup. So how much ice are we talking about? Well, this is preliminary, but it does appear ice storm criteria will be met, and this could include possible interruptions in the power grid and some power outages. Notice by 10 o'clock in the morning, as of this time with the future tracks timing, about a tenth of an, uh, one one hundredth of an inch of ice, but watch it quickly start to pile up. So as this system comes in on Sunday, late morning into the afternoon, there will be enough instability to actually form some thunderstorms and those thunderstorms could lead to enhanced precipitation rates. So right now the ice accumulation is showing about three tenths of an inch. That is enough to bring down power lines especially with the gusty winds that will develop. So those are all of the things that we are watching here. I know this is a very detailed webcast extra. The latest computer models will be out tomorrow morning. I'll have another update and a detailed webcast extra tomorrow afternoon. I do not have a weather talk this time, so I'll be hammering out the weather data, coming in and giving you the latest webcast extra, and also the four W's. So I hope you found this webcast informative. We are going to get uh, definitely an impact event on Sunday. Depending on where that freezing rain and uh, sleet and snow sets up, we'll determine exactly what we see. But one thing is for sure, this system is significant, and someone will get pounded with heavy ice accumulation and could have substantial power loss areas. So uh, keep it here with your Northwest Arkansas Weather Authority and we will keep you safe.